Welcome sa ziplion.com. In this video ay uh, magsimula tayo ng panibagong series, no? Ang series na to ay about the uh, inverse variation, no? Ah, uh, kung sinusundan niyo yung series natin about variation, uh, pag-aralan natin yung uh, direct linear variation sa direct square variation. So this is a new series pero under pa rin siya ng variation, no? Um, Jay uses a bicycle to reach the town plaza which is 900 meters from his house. How fast should the bicycle be if he wants to reach the plaza in 5 minutes? So, meron tayong information dito, yung distance ng uh, plaza, no? town plaza to uh, Jay's house. No? So, distance is equal to 900 meters. No? And, yung time natin is 5 minutes. No? And ang ano natin dito is yung rate o yung speed ni J para uh, makarating sa uh, plaza ng 5 minutes. So, alam natin, napag-aralan natin that distance is equal to rate times time. And, ibig sabihin, i-substitute natin 900 meters is equal to rate. Wala tayong rate, no? At ang time natin ay 5 minutes, no? So, ibig sabihin, eh, para makuha natin yung rate, i-divide natin both sides by 5 minutes. But before we do that, pagpalitin natin para yung unknown natin na sa kaliwa. So, R times 5 minutes is equal to 900 meters. Meaning, R is equal to 900 meters over 5 minutes. Meaning, uh, what is 900 times, oh, 900 divided by 5. Meaning, ang rate natin ay, it's 180, ba? 180 meters per minute. No? So, this is 180 meters per minute. Ito na yung pinakasagot natin. No? Okay, so, second question. So again, our distance, fixed yung distance natin. That's 900 meters, no? Ang distance natin ay 900 meters. So, tignan natin yung uh, relationship ng time tsaka speed, no? Or yung rate natin. This is also rate. So, pag ang time natin in minutes, we have 1. Ano ba yung ating rate, no? Sorry, this is supposed to be P in minutes, time in minutes, and yung rate natin in meters. So, pag 1 minute, pag 2 minutes, pag 3 minutes, pag 4 minutes, pag 5 minutes, pag 6 minutes, and so on. So, pag 1 minute, syempre 900 meters siya, ang rate natin dapat 900 din. Para makuha natin yung distance. Kasi distance is rate times time, di ba? So, dapat ang product nito 900. Pag 2, magiging 450, di ba? Pag 3, magiging 300. Pag 4, magiging 900 divided, divided by 4. I think it's 225. Pag 5, maging yung kanina, yung sa taas, we have 180. Tsaka pag 6, we have 150, I think. Okay? So, Makikita nyo, ang relationship is that uh, if as the time time increases, yung ang rate naman natin decreases. No? And the product is constant. No? Kasi 900 meters, hindi naman nagbabago yung distance from Jay's house to the to the uh, town plaza, di ba? So, yun yung ating nakikita natin relationship. And here, Pwede nating ilagay na equation is RP is 900. No? It's always equal to 900. At yung 900 natin, ito yung tinatawag natin na constant. Constant of variation. Well, di ko pa in-introduce ko ang class variation. This is actually a uh, an example of a uh, inverse, of an inverse variation. No? So, ang inverse variation is if the product of y, of x and y, no? So, inverse variation. 
uh, if the product of x and y no is a non is a non zero constant no so here syempre 900 din dia man zero ano yon pwede natin sabihin na uh, y varies inversely as x no so we can say that that y varies inversely as x no so ang ang relation na yan ay uh, pwede natin siyang isulat as uh, x y equals k no where k is the constant constant of variation so yung k yun yung constant natin na product no for example ang k natin dito is 900 and again in terms of y pwede natin isulat as y equals k over x so pag may nakita kayong ganito y equals k over x then that is a an inverse variation no? so dito ang uh, product nila constant na k natin ay 900 no? so yan yung ibig sabihin ng uh, inverse variation yung product ng dalawang variable ay palagi siyang constant no? isang isang number lang siya for example here ang product ng return time is always 900 because constant naman yung 900 natin which is the distance from uh, the house of J to the plaza to the town plaza hindi naman siya nagbabago sa constant siya okay so that's it for our instruction sa inverse variation ang susunod natin is mag uh, siguro mag solve tayo ng mga problems involving uh, inverse variation maraming salamat uh, I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to um, gusto kayong invite sa sipnayan.com yung ating website at uh, kung kayo ay nanonood sa YouTube gusto ka rin kayong invite na mag subscribe no, sa ating YouTube channel dahil marami na tayong videos no, na pwede nyo panoorin at pwede nyo pag-aralan no, para matuto kayo ng math pwede rin kayo mag subscribe sa ating blog no, sipnayan.com sa website natin and of course, kung nasa YouTube kayo, pwede kayong mag-like sa ating mga videos, pwede kayong mag-share sa inyong mga kaibigan. At kung meron kayong tanong o comment, just uh, type your comments and no, madalas naman ako nagre-reply. No? Almost, uh, I think 100% nire-replyan ko pag may nag-comment. Okay, maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.